it is big news. Lots of folks talking about it. Reaction flooding the web tonight after the White House fires FBI Director James Comey. Trump says it's a new beginning. Others say it's part of a cover up and an abuse of power. We are sorting through every angle for you tonight. Yeah, let's start it off with Jay Corf. He's live right now at the FBI headquarters with the very latest for us. Hey, Jay. Yeah, get this, Jonathan. James Comey did not find out about his firing here in Washington. He was in Los Angeles addressing some employees. He saw it on a TV broadcast. He thought it was a prank. No prank. Meanwhile, back here in Washington, volatile reaction tonight. Some U.S. senators calling this firing Nixonian. Others saying it stinks of a cover-up. We know the FBI has been looking into whether the Trump campaign colluded with the Russians a very serious offense. Were these investigations getting too close to home for the president? Only hours after President Donald Trump fired James Comey, White House officials released the letter that Mr. Trump penned to the now former director of the FBI. While I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions that I am not under investigation, you are not able to effectively lead the bureau. Department of Justice officials indicate Comey was let go primarily for his poor handling of Hillary Clinton's 2016 investigation into her use of a private email server while she was Secretary of State. Ironically, Clinton blames Comey for her presidential defeat to Mr. Trump after Comey reopened that investigation only days before the election. Administration officials say this firing is about the very credibility of the FBI. He is taking the recommendation of his deputy attorney general and the attorney general of the United States that it is time for fresh leadership and to restore integrity at the FBI. This is what leaders do. They take decisive action based on the information they're provided. That's what President Trump did today. And sources are telling ABC 7 News that field agents are devastated tonight at this news of Comey's firing, saying he was a great motivator and manager. Reporting live in the district, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. Jay, thanks. Here's something we're just getting into the newsroom right now. President Trump reacting to Senator Schumer's statement this evening in a tweet calling him, quote, crying Chuck Schumer and ending the tweet with hashtag drain the swamp. Now, Comey is the first FBI director to be fired in nearly a quarter of a century, but it is the fourth high profile firing just since President Trump took office. Attorneys General Sally Yates, then Mike Flynn, of course, both let go. Also last week, the first female to hold the White House chief usher position was fired. Angela Reid's firing remains largely unexplained. Comey was a major figure in the election when he announced that the FBI was investigating then candidate Hillary Clinton's emails. Clinton not commenting on the firing tonight, but her former running mate is. Senator Tim Kaine tweeting in part that the firing shows the White House is frightened over the Russia investigation, saying it's part of a, quote, growing pattern by White House to cover up the truth, end quote. And first forecast from Stormwatch 7 as we move through this Tuesday evening. Temperatures not as cold as they were last night at this time. And the reason why we have a little bit of cloud cover out there. What does that mean for us tomorrow? A bit warmer for daytime highs, eventually making it into the lower 70s by afternoon. Grab the sunglasses. You're going to need them pretty much all day long. We do have rain on the way on the 10 day outlook, and it will have an impact on your Friday morning rush hour commute. Plus, looking ahead to Mother's Day weekend and a warming trend. More on that in just a few minutes. Allison. Okay, Steve, we'll see you then. Thank you. Meanwhile, new tonight, a warning for your metro commute. Crooks targeting your wallet by tugging at your heartstrings. This all starts with a flyer, and it's asking you to donate money, money for youth sports. It seems innocent enough, but it's a scam. Annalisa Gale has what you need to know. I was on the metro train with my family and a young man was walking around the uh, train with a flyer and I could see at the top it said Roosevelt Rough Riders. After being handed this piece of paper, at-large D.C. Council member Robert White decided to have it examined. I immediately contacted my chief of staff and told them I was really upset that some of our students would have to resort to essentially panhandling. The flyer claims that the person is looking to raise money for new uniforms for Theodore Roosevelt High School's football, basketball, volleyball and 
soccer teams. What did you find out? I found out actually uh, just yesterday afternoon uh, that it was a scam. The address on the flyer was correct, but as we found out, the phone number isn't linked to the school. Did you know your number is on a flyer? I don't know nothing about that. According to a note on the school's website, all fundraising activities are done on school grounds under the direct supervision of adult staff members. I, I'm incredibly angered that uh, some people would try to take advantage of our residents, and really I think it's, it's unfair, and uh, I, I hope that we can catch the person or people who are doing it. Councilman White believes the young man that was carrying this flyer was about 18 years old. Another great tip if you're trying to figure out if a fundraiser is real or not is to simply call up the organization requesting that money. Theodore Roosevelt High School also tweets about their approved fundraisers. Live in Chinatown tonight, Annalisa Gale, ABC 7 News. Annalisa, thanks. Emotional new reaction tonight to this story. Aaron Hernandez, an innocent man, at least after his death. Today, a judge threw out his murder conviction. It's based on legal precedent in the state of Massachusetts since Hernandez had an appeal in process before his suicide. So new tonight, mother of the murder victim in this case.